Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. In today's video, I want to start a series of videos on the UHDDS. That stands for Uniform Hospital Discharge Data Set. These are a set of statistics that are generated from hospitals or facilities about their organization. Prime example of, of why we had to bring uniformity into statistics. In a physical classroom, I usually ask my students, tell me a little bit about the facility where you live. And the number one response that I always get is, come to my facility, you will surely die. But you guys, that's not always the case. If you had one family member that passed at that facility, the whole family tends to get a bad taste in their mouth about that facility. However, on the opposite end of that, if you were the owner of the hospital or the facility and I ask you, once a month, send in statistics about your facility, you're only going to send me the good stuff. You're not going to tell me your death rate or the bad situations that may have occurred at your facility. So what has happened now, government requires facilities to turn in uniformity. And it's called Uniform Hospital Discharge Data Set. Where does coding fit into all of this? It's our codes that determine the top 10 diagnoses. Our coding, we put into numbers what's going on with our patients. And because of this uniform requirement of reporting, then all facilities are reporting the same type of statistics. So in these next series of videos that I'll be doing, we'll be talking about exactly what is UHDDS, Uniform Hospital Discharge Data Sets. Now remember, it started with just inpatient facilities, but since its inception, and because now we can generate such accurate statistics on inpatient facilities, acute care has gotten involved, short-term care has gotten involved, long-term care, psychiatric facilities, um, home health, rehab, nursing homes, and other facilities now are jumping on board. So you can actually now see the need for our codes other than just for billing. Um, Third-party payers are now requiring this information on your claim form. When it's submitted, Medicare, Medicaid, top of the bag, top of the bag as far as wanting this information on their patients. Um, and then many other healthcare payers now are, are using them. So what type of data elements are captured in these UHDDS statistics? First of all, they want the principal diagnoses. Because remember, when the patient comes in, we put the admitting diagnoses, they came in with a headache. Oops. After study, it was found out they've got a brain aneurysm. So we have two different diagnoses, and as a coder, we determine which one is the main or principal diagnoses. They're looking at other diagnoses that the patient might also have that have a significant um, bearing on this particular admission. All significant procedures that a patient might go through while in your facility. And other items include the age of your patient, sex of your patient, the race of your patient, expected payer, and your hospital identification number. So UHDDS plays a vital role. Another thing is if you get ready to move to another city or state, a lot of times you'll check into school systems to see what type of schools they have for your children. Um, I tend to like to see what type of um, shopping, grocery store particularly, what type of grocery stores are in that particular city. Um, but what about hospitals? Are you not concerned about the healthcare facilities and what kind of statistics are they generating? Are they known for fertility? Are they known for heart? These types of statistics are gathered and captured through these, this UHDDS information. And again, those statistics are gathered based on our codes that we generate. That helps bring it in. Because remember in my first video I mentioned if you had to give a diagnosis for a patient in a chart that we read, 
and then I had to give a diagnosis, I almost could promise you, although it might sound the same, sore throat, strep throat, acute sore throat, until we come up with that one code, for statistical reasons, that one code is what helps us determine the UHDDS statistics. So, hang in there. My very next video, which I'll be doing shortly, will be on exactly what, and I'm going to do the first one, a principal diagnosis is because that's the first thing we capture as a coder. All right, any questions, feel free to send me an email or comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my channel because we're on this journey together. Thanks, guys.